Hey there, Odours. My name is Jose Ignacio. Now, when it comes to sales, time is money. The more time wasted on mundane manual tasks, the more money you might lose with lost opportunities. That's why it's of the utmost importance to ensure that your sales pipeline is operating like a well-oiled machine. Now, the way that we can accomplish that is with automated actions. Now, with Odoo CRM automations, we can actually set up custom activities and actions, such as calls, emails, or meetings that are automatically triggered when opportunities reach specific stages or when specific events occur. That way, Odoo will know exactly what to do and when to do it without any manual intervention at all. For example, we can configure Odoo to automatically schedule a follow-up call for our salesperson when an opportunity moves to the qualified stage and stuff like that. Think of automations, you know, like a trusted stage manager. You can put your total faith in them to make sure that everything is running smoothly behind the scenes. Just so that you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, or in this case, enjoy the increase in sales. Automated actions and workflows save our team a bunch of time. And they also remove the need for manual activity scheduling, those follow-up reminders, and everything in between. I know this may sound complicated, but trust me, setting up automations with Odoo CRM is super easy. So, enough chit-chat, let's get right into it. So let's start off on the CRM pipeline dashboard. Now from here, we're gonna hover at the top of a pipeline stage, uh, the proposition one, perfect. Now selecting the gear icon that is revealed allows us to see a few more options. Now the only option we'll be looking at for this video will be automation, so let's select that. All right, inside of here, we can create custom automation rules to automate any kind of workflow that we want for our pipeline stages. So we're gonna select new in the top left corner, and we're gonna get started with this. Now, Odoo provides us with a standard title for the automation rule. As you can see, we can also adjust this. So, this example right now, we're going to want to automate or create a series of automated actions that trigger whenever an opportunity enters the qualified stage. So, we're going to name it, in that case, Qualified Op Rule. Yeah, we'll just do that one. That's pretty good. Okay, below the title, we're going to see the trigger field. And inside of here, it has a few other options from a drop-down. When we click it, we see that Odoo provides us with a ton of these. We have the stages set to, user set, tag is added, and a ton more. Honestly, the list is kind of big, so I'm not going to go through all of these. Now, there are options for when values are updated as well. Email events take place, timing conditions, custom needs, and other things. Now, for our example, we're going to actually select stages set to, the very first one that we have right there. And we're going to keep the stage right now set to the qualified stage on the next part of this. You can also choose any other pipeline stage if needed. Now, it's important to know that each trigger option has its own custom fields to ensure the proper configurations can be completed. So be sure to keep that in mind as you saw when I was going through them and cycling, things changed on the trigger. Now, below that, we have the actions to do tab. Now, from here, we're actually gonna select to add an action. We gotta have action. Now, at the top of this create actions pop-up form, we have a series of type options. Let's start by automating a welcome email that Odoo will automatically send to our opportunity to welcome them to the wonderful world of Stealthywood. So for that, we actually want to select the send email option right here. And you'll notice stuff changed below. Now we have other fields. So let's actually click in our case on the email template field because we need to choose something here. Now I always try to save you time. So welcome to the Stealthy family is the template that we're going to be choosing. And now we want to choose how we want to send this email in the send email of as field. So we're going to select it once again because we have a few other options here. We have email, message, and notes. We could choose email which sends the email to the recipients, but the email will not appear in the chatter. We have the message button which means that the email will be sent and the message will be recorded in the chatter. Notifying all of the followers as well of the opportunity. Or we could choose the note option which means the message will be posted as an internal note that's only visible to internal users in the chat. For this, I'm actually going to go with the message option. That's because I have a couple more automated rules that I want to configure. So once that we're done, we're going to select Save and New. Perfect. Now we want to do another one. Now here at StealthyBud, we want to ensure our best salespeople are following qualified opportunities because they know how to close a deal better than anyone. So let's... Actually, you know, in this case, Let's see what it's like to automatically add followers. I baited you there. Just whenever an opportunity is added to this stage. Now for that, we've selected add followers as the type. Then we're gonna add our number one sales guy. In this case, our sales guy is Albert Anderson, not chosen for AA. Now whenever an opportunity makes it to this stage, Albert will instantly become a follower, or he'll also be notified about any updates that happen with it. It's both of those. Pretty cool, right? 
As you can see, we can add more than one follower if we want as well. We have the option to put more. But for now, we're just going to leave it in Albert's hands. And we're going to select Save in New once again. Because we have one more thing that we need to automate. Okay, I also want to create a custom follow-up call activity. So, how do we do that? And that's just so that I can be reminded when I give my customers a ring. Just to ensure that everything is going smoothly with a deal. I like to catch up with them. So for that activity, we're going to start by selecting Create Activity for the type. So we're going to hit Create Activity. Once we do that, it's going to give us the options. You'll notice immediately it tells us what type. So for ours, I just said it's a call. I want to follow up with them. Next, we're going to title this. We're going to call it Follow Up Call. Perfect. And I actually don't want to bother them too much. So let's make the due date not zero weeks, but one week. As you'll notice, you have options to choose days, weeks, months. Everything is a nice little option right there. Next, we're going to click on the user type field. As you have an option for specific user and dynamic user based on record. I just showed you both of them. Now, specific user is used to always assign the same user on the activity. Now, the second one that we have right now that I'm going to show you again is dynamic user, which is used to specify the field name of the user to choose on the record. For this example, we're actually going to select specific user. It's pretty good. Because whenever an opportunity reaches this stage, I want our most polite employee. In our case, Jeff Lawson. I want them to take over and start schmoozing the contact info and making them close out the deal. So let's select Jeff. And now that we have Jeff, everything is fine. Now if we wanted, we could also add some notes or specific description. But in our case, I think everything is fairly self-explanatory. So we're going to go ahead and hit save and close. We're finally done. Now Odoo shows us all the automated actions that we set up for this pipeline stage specifically. And we can easily reorder them by selecting these as little dots and moving them around, determining which order we want for them because it actually matters right here. The actions will pretty much be decided on what's automated first with a single drag and drop if necessary. For example, we can drag the add followers one up to the top and now it's the very first thing that we want. But let's put them back because I like that original order that we had. Now, before we move on, it's worth mentioning that the necessary contact information, be it a phone number, address, or email address, must be entered on the opportunity form that enters this stage. And that's because we need it in order for certain automations to work properly. For example, if you configure an automated email, but you don't have the contact's email address entered in the opportunity form, who is Odoo going to send that email to? It doesn't know where to send the message, and the action won't work. So does that make sense? I hope it does. All right, all of our information is set up and ready to go. So how about we do a test run? So here we are in the CRM pipeline now, and I think it's time for us to test all of those automations. We're going to select the random opportunity inside of the new stage over here. I want to talk about something. As you can see, we have the customer's name right there. We have an email address, phone number. And if you direct your attention, you'll also notice here that it's a rather empty chatter. There are currently also zero followers on this, as indicated by the zero next to our little guy. But let's see what happens when this opportunity enters the qualified stage, shall we? And remember, to do that directly from the opportunity form, all you have to do is actually click on the word qualified in the top center. And, oh my god, there you go, doers. Odoo, magically, we have everything appearing now. You'll notice a bunch of information has populated the chatter. First and foremost, we have our welcome email that has been sent to the customer, and it's been locked in the chatter as we set it to the message option. And above that, would you notice that we'll see our friendly reminder to have Jeff call the customer for a follow-up call as well. This also will show up in Jeff's activities list too because we are Odoo automated as well. And if we click on the followers icon, would you look at that as well? We'll see more followers have been added. So now whenever an action related to this opportunity happens, they'll all be notified about it instantly. And that's pretty awesome, right? And that's it, Odoo's. That's how you quickly create simple or complex automated actions for your sales pipeline with Odoo CRM. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Go grab a snack, preferably a cookie.